Hand colouring refers to any method of manually colouring a black and white photo. This was very common in early days of, of uh, black and white photography with studio shots. Now before I start, I'll show you some of the highlights that the, uh, the photographers used because they didn't have any sharpening methods back back when this photo was taken. I'm not quite sure of the time period. There was nothing on the photo, not even the studio where it was taken. Main, sometimes they do put their studio names on. I'll just enlarge this image so I'll t show you what I mean. They used penciling around the eyes to highlight it because this, this photograph was probably hanging on a wall. The eyebrows were, were uh, penciled in as well and, and there was a strip put through the lips. You'll notice with the baby it's the same sort of thing, they, po they highlighted the eyes and, and also a little bit through the lips. So when you stood back they would be very sharp in the, in the photograph. The hair was also combed, you'll notice the combing in the hair, <coughs> that was also applied to the lady's hair. The, uh, the garment was also a bit of a colouring uh, problem, so they had to put a few stripes in to give it some highlighting, and also the white around the collar and the lace, they put some white in there as well. <coughs> so the hand colour of these, these images, there was, uh, you needed to know what the colours were in the time, so <coughs> there's no indication of what colours these were, so it was a bit hard, it's a bit hard to hand colour. The other problem is skin tones and uh, with some of the other uh, Photoshop pro products you uh, they get, you can go onto their website and get colour cards but you don't have to go that far, we'll just load another image within GIMP and we'll load this one here. Because GIMP opens another window and leaves all your uh, toolboxes and, and your layer channels alone you can go and take samples off this photo. So I'll go to the eyedropper and I'll take a sample of the skin I think uh, maybe that's all right. I'll pull this one out of the way. We'll do use use it quite often in this uh, video. I'll enlarge the uh, image so I can work a bit better. Now I have my colour for the skin, and uh, in this case I will uh, cover, uh, put a new layer in. It's and layers are used a lot in this method. Now we've got to paint over the uh, skin area, so. I'll choose a fuzzy brush, when I don't want to go too close to the hair I'll go and just brush around here, it's going to make it look very bad colour the eyes and all, but Gimp will get me out of all this trouble without any dramas, so i just paint all over the face and a lot of times you've got to study these photos because they don't have a very clear definition of, of certain things I'll leave the brush until I get a bit get a bit an area where I can work smaller. I'll use the, uh, I'll close up the baby as well. Now uh, in this case I'm I'm using the baby skin colour the same as the mother's. Now normally the baby skin would, wouldn't be as uh, the same as the mother's because the mother's is more mature. Now everything's covered in, just a little bit up there I think I need to touch a little bit maybe up there on the hairline. Now I go over to my layers channel and I ch click the mode button and choose overlay and that, that's where GIMP got me out of trouble now it's nice and it's picked it nice and easy now the other, th the other thing is you've got to work with uh, other colours as well now we're going to work on the lips in this one we go to layers we've got to add a new layer because we'll be using won't be using the, the top layer because I may have to, to uh, lower the opacity to get the lips in the right colour so we go back to our Rick and Jess image and we choose a, a go pick our eyedropper and choose a lip colour. Well it looks a bit dark there but that's the way it is. So we pull it down out of the way. Now I'll enlarge my image. I've got my colour I want. I'll just go up a little and enlarge the image using the uh, plus key on the keyboard so I can get a nice big size. I go to my free select tool or lasso tool and select around the lips you can see the lips are very uh, not very clear within the photograph so you've got to take a bit of a guess that's completed that one now you notice this one here is selected <coughs> over here in the toolbox 
This, you can see there it says add to the current selection otherwise you, you, that'll switch that one off so we need to do the baby's lips uh, now the baby's lips would not be the same colour as mum's so in this case um, I'll just do it all the same because as I say there's a time limit in, in, this, uh, in this video oh Google doesn't like you going overboard alright <coughs> now we go to our, our bucket fill tool we've got our colour and we just click in the area of the selection and that selects uh, paints both edges now you notice that's pretty uh, pretty uh, stark isn't it but anyway we go to our mode key uh, button and click on overlay now it's brought it down to a nicer a better color but still it's in the select mode we can uh, work on that top layer I can bring the opacity down there on that top layer to make the lips more acceptable to the face tone you can see now it's not as heavy as a period would be now she wouldn't have had uh, real red lips in that period not the red lipstick that we have today so she's uh, otherwise they <coughs> they're classified as street girls if they were in that period and they had uh, very red lips so that's brought the lip colors down as it's also in the babies so we can go up to select now and select none and turn that off now we're quite happy with the selection that's why we've got to work with different layers now this time we've got to put in another layer because we're going to work with another layer and we put in an, another layer which is uh, transparency and this time we're going to work with the eyes now I'll just move this down and I'll move into babies first now the eyes are <coughs> perfectly round so we need to, to uh, choose the free select tool and just go around the eyes in that fashion and so we close that one off make sure your uh, add to the selection is chosen you can see there the baby's got a half eye closed so it's not a perfect circle of the eye we go around nicely with that one and that one and now we do the mothers we come over to the mothers and we go around her eyes as well there's a flat top on the top of her eyes we, I mean, with the free select tool you can go around and choose that size and we go around there and select that and we go across and finish that off now they're selected the trouble is now the eye color so we go back to uh, Rick and Jess now Rick's got a, a nice blue eye so we'll <coughs> take the uh, eyedropper tool and take a color in now it's a bit black I, I I feel uh, take the young lassie's eyes and it's a little bit orangey as well so it's not really good and I'll pull that one out of the way <coughs> and choose a color of my own so we go into there and we choose a blue I assume that the eyes are blue it's very hard to pick so you don't want to make it too heavy blue and we go about there now because I've I've selected everything on on this page like the the uh, baby's eyes and the mother's eyes so when I go to the bucket fill tool it will fill all four we click on in in any one of the eyes and the eyes will be now become heavily colored in blue we go to overlay again in the uh, layers mode and it gives me a better appearance within the eyes we'll leave it at that we'll turn off the uh, selection select none and so the eyes are not too bad in this case so we'll, we'll zoom out and you can see better that the eyes are reasonably coloured and not too heavy and same with the lips now we come to another heavy part is the clothing so what would the baby's colours be? you don't know whether it's a boy or a girl so we need to pick a, a reasonable colour so we go to free select tool again and we choose we start around the garment and once again it's a lot of work in selecting all this we go down to here and the bottom of the photo I'm not at the bottom yet there, there we go that was just a space bar by the way and then uh, just move the mouse selected I'll choose a color that I feel it might be I'll go into the yellow and bring it down to a what I feel it might have been in that period which might have been a, a slight yellow color maybe about there still a bit uh, that's about right oh nice and light okay 
hit OK, go to the bucket fill tool and then click on that and it colours it all for me in one go. And because the uh, the layer is in the overlay mode for the eyes, it's also laid it in there nice and easy for me. Now I'll go to select and select none, which allows me to uh, choose around the collar. I'll, I'll go and do my free select tool again and choose the collar and I, sh I assume it'll be a little bit off white so it won't be a full white colour one. And I'm still in the mode of the eye so I can't do any more uh, uh, low in the opacity because it may it's selected it may uh, overdo it. Now I'll go to white and come down now and just take a little bit of colouring, a little bit of a pinky colour. They tell me uh, pink was once a boy's colour so that won't matter. No, it doesn't really matter whether it's a boy or girl now. We just colour that in and you'll notice that it's brought it in a bit of a white. Okay, so I don't know whether I can... Uh, I'll just move that down a little bit. If I move the opacity down, will it change the eyes? No. Oh, okay. That's made that one. That made it a little bit more acceptable. Okay, we go to select and select none. Now we come to the mother. We've got the hair to do as well, so it's, it, we've taken up quite a bit of time in this uh, this video. So we go to the uh, free select tool again, and we choose the garment that the mother's wearing. Now it's hard to tell what colour that may have been. Now I'm being a bit quick here. That's it one. Now I'll go and see if I can find a purpley colour. So I assume it'll be a really dark purple because it, it appears to be dark. And I'll click OK. Now I'm, I've got the opacity down still, so we'll see how we go. Click on there. And it's, ooh, it's a little bit bright. A little bit bright. So I'll go back and undo. And I'll put a new layer in there to work with that one because then I can turn the opacity down. The, uh, the selection's still there. Fill it with uh, the purple again and then go to overlay. And that's a little bit better and we can turn the opacity down to bring it to what I feel in that period colouring would be. Okay. That's reasonable. And we go to select and we select none. And of course the, the, uh, the lace uh, the lacing would be of a white colour as well. But as I stated, uh, we're running a bit short on the time here with the, uh, with the video. It's quite a long process doing all this. So we, we go to uh, a layer again and make a new layer. And you OK. Now the, we're going to work on the hair. Now the hair is, the, is a real problem because uh, a lot of the hair colouring, we go to Jess again and we choose a bit of a blondy hair. And you can see it's not real true blonde. So we'll, you've got to work around and get a colour that you feel that is, w is would be suit that period. Maybe that will do. We'll just see how we go. Now we can use the brush or the spray. I'll use the brush in this case. It'll be a bit quicker. And I've got a fuzzy brush. So I'll enlarge the image using the plus key on the keyboard. Got to be in that mode up there and increase the colour and I'm still in a fuzzy brush which is good and now I just go around and colour her hair now we've got a new layer so we can use overlay again which allow me to go it'll see through that but nicely as a a nice type of type of transparency so I need to paint all that okay then we're on the finishing stages of, of doing the baby's hair as well as the mother's now in this case uh, the baby's hair could possibly be in another colour than the mother's we're not quite sure so I'm just taking a punt that it was the same colouring I'll just zoom out <coughs> and I'll show you that the, uh, the hair and then we go over to uh, our mode button again and do overlay now this made the hair nice and nice and uh, acceptable the uh, the rest of it can be all coloured up now, the back the background needs to be uh, well doesn't need to be coloured because in that period they would have used a, a dro drop sheet would have possibly been just black and white like that it would have been excessively coloured so there we are we've coloured an old black and white photo using the similar method that they would have used with paints back in the um, 
that period. They used oil paints and sometimes Indian ink, especially where there were dark places around the eyes and, and, uh, and the mouth and etc. just to give it a highlighting. So there we go and thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to rate the video and also uh, visit my channel there is a link to a PDF file on how to achieve this once again. Before I finish uh, we right click the top layer and we merge visible layers that brings them all down together and after the merge brings them all down to one and there's our job completed. Once again thank you for watching.